Good afternoon. This is Kate reporting with Gator Zone here on the final day of the Bedford Cup. And standing with me, I have singles champion Olivia Janowitz. Uh, first of all, Olivia, congratulations on a great tournament. Uh, you just beat uh, teammate Belinda Wilcock in a tough match for the singles championship. How do you feel? You've had a pretty exciting weekend here. Yeah, I've had a good weekend. Um, it's obviously really tough playing a teammate. Bell is a really good player. Um, she's had some really good results so far, and so I knew going into the match that it was going to be tough, but I pulled it out in the end, and you know, we both played a great match. It was, it was fun. Good. Well, we're glad it was fun. Um, for doubles, you played. Now, you had a unique situation this weekend where you had to play teammates across the board in doubles today and then in the single semifinal and then again in the championship. Tell us a little bit about what that like, what that's like for you mentally to have to play your teammate so much. To play a teammate is different than to play anybody else because... Sometimes we're a little bit tougher. We will scream come on against some other people because we don't, we don't really care about their feelings. But here, at the end of the day, we need to be friends. And we can't, we have, to, we can't have everything out there and be dirty or, you know, or play, be too rough against your opponent. So we need to be very fair, very calm, and, and just very respectful overall. I mean, we, we are respectful to our other opponents, mm -hmm. but, but like more so right now. So that's why it's really tough. You can't really scream come on in their face, even though we love doing that here <laughs> at Florida. Um, it's it's difficult, but you know it's 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 worth it in the end. Yeah, it's almost like you have to hold back all your natural mm -hmm. instincts. Yeah, natural instincts yeah. Wow. Well, you all did a really good job with that today, and we're proud of you. Um, talk a little bit about now that you've gotten to see a couple of the freshmen. You've played with Steph in doubles. You played against Courtney. You played against uh, Belinda in singles. How do you think that they're going to fit in the rest of the season with this team? I think Belinda is such a fierce competitor. She fights really hard. I think she's going to fit in very well. Courtney's an amazing leader. She's also a very good fighter. She has amazing, huge serve. She's tough to play as well. And Stephanie is also a really good competitor, and she's going to get better as it goes, I promise. Yeah. Great. And Liv, you passed your 100th singles win, and you kept on going. You added to that this weekend. Seems like you just prepared yourself this summer to be at the best that you can be for your senior season. Tell me a little bit about what you did this summer and going into next weekend. I know you have uh, the regional championships in Athens. Um, how did you prepare your body and your mind to be where you are right now? Well, in the summer, I worked with my coach and a few other. I worked with Alex Racon, our teammate. And so that was, it was good to have somebody at my level to play with all the time and to challenge me. And I worked about four hours a day every day, whether it was maybe two hours of tennis and then the rest was physical and conditioning, weights. So this is probably the hardest I've ever worked in the summer, and it's paying off clearly right now. Yeah, well, it's definitely showing out there on the courts. Good luck to you next weekend, Liv, and the Gators. Go Gators. Go Gators. I think uh, it was a fantastic weekend for us. The, the play today here on Sunday was exceptionally good, I thought, starting with the doubles finals, quality tennis, and uh, a closely fought, classy, you know, gator battle, and uh, I thought our two freshmen played outstanding doubles in the, in the morning. And then, you know, the singles play, both in the semis, and as well as here in the finals, the, the, the play was outstanding, high quality, and uh, I thought we showed toughness and resilience, and... Uh, and also, we played against our teammates, which can be a little tricky, but I thought our players handled that very well. What did you get out of the tournament that you really were hoping to play? Well, in particular for our freshmen, you know, we, we want to see them play matches. You know, I, I think we know what we're going to get out of Olivia, and uh, obviously her play uh, was outstanding. You know, I, I thought when I watched her play at the Duke event a month ago, uh, that she had much more weight on her ball. And here, obviously, winning this tournament, beating both Courtney and Belinda, shows you that that's definitely the case. Uh, her play was fantastic. She's gotten a lot better from last year. And then our freshmen, they need to play. They need to play a lot of matches and points. And uh, now we, I think we have an idea of, of the, the tendencies and what they like to do. And we've got a lot of little things we can work on. And then in doubles, you paired two new teams together. Did you like it? I really did. Uh, we, we played aggressive tennis. We uh, hit the ball, and we were looking to uh, to move at the net. And uh, those are the things that we talk about daily when we do double drills. And I was happy to see that we were able to ex execute uh, in real live match play. You've got the regional championship cup in this. Who will you be taking? Do you know yet? We're taking everyone. All seven of them will play. And then, uh, do you know double championship yet? Um, no, not quite. Um, I think we'll have an idea tomorrow.